We are live. We are live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> We're coming to you from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. <laughs> Thank you, I love you too. <laughs> but as, you, as you can tell, we're having a very boisterous audience here tonight. There's a lot of, uh, we've been having a good time. And I've been uh, talking a lot, so it's time to play some music. Okay, Michael, where do you want to, where are we going? We're going to start in Mexico. Okay. Jesus from Guadalajara, Mexico wants to know, what advice would you give to a person who wants to dedicate himself to music? Wow. Jesus, how are you? Come on, stuff. <laughs> Guadalajara, yeah. We were there, what, a couple of years ago? Or a year and a half ago? Um, I just answered that question, too. It's the same question. It's the same answer. Here it comes. It's, uh, you have to have passion for what you do. That's it. You have to love it. And I mean, you have to love it. Because the amount of hours that are required to become great, to not become average, uh, you can't do it if it's a job. It has to be a love affair. And then it's just absolutely beautiful and easy and you're not, hours go by. I could sit on the piano, I remember I'd be in the studio and uh, I would just play and five hours go by and it's studio time. You look and it's, you started at five in the evening and it's 10 o'clock at night and you, know, you thought one hour went by. So, uh, I don't want to say too much. It's uh, just passion is the fuel. Just remember that. That's what fuels you. And uh, it's, you have, I keep repeating, it's that you have to love it. You have to love it. This is not a job. It's not, it's an adventure. You have to look for new things, things you don't know. Expand your mind, imagination, creativity. Let go. Let go of what you've learned. Let go of what you've been taught. Just let go. And just listen to you. Listen to your voice. It'll tell you. We're all connected. What I'm doing, I think everybody can do. I believe that. So, Jesus, I'm going to play for you a song that wasn't even written for the piano. Uh, it's a, uh, on my third, during my, uh, I did it on my first album. It's called Keys to Imagination. Uh, since then, I've orchestrated it. Big symphony orchestra, played it at the Acropolis. Uh, and it's meant to be played on electronic keyboards, no piano. So I'm gonna try to play that song for you right now. This is, again, freedom. If I hit a couple of wrong notes, forgive me, no big deal.
It's just like I kind of let go there for a little while. I just added and parsed twice. I don't know why. It's just my mind. I, I let my mind go. Uh, and, and I'm replacing cello and violas and bass, guitars and drums and percussion and everything. And uh, again, no rules. It's pure. It's in its essence. This is how the song came out it, when it came out the first time. All right, Michael, any more questions? Yes, of course. <laughs> you, you always have more. All right. Lobna from Cairo, Egypt wants to say, Lobna. To my favorite musician alive, until the last moment, the one I play and never forget, never fails to melt my heart and touch my soul every single time I hear and play. What was your inspiration to compose, write, and play the very dearly special until the last moment? All the love and respect, Labna. Wow, great question. I, uh, it's until the last moment is a, is a piece of music that I think is one of the best I've ever written in my life. And uh, a very important one at that because I, I was inspired by my father's teachings. I've said this story many, many times, so I'm just gonna keep it short. Uh, he was a very intelligent and very uh, uh, philosophical man. He taught me simplicity, appreciation for nature, uh, love for life, all of life. So until the last moment, really is about, he always tried to teach a 12-year-old or 10-year-old boy the concept of how short life really is and how we can never take it for granted. Uh, we must take it in and we must enjoy it to the fullest every last moment of it. So. I wrote that song, and it's called Until the Last Moment. Um, because of uh, some unforeseen circumstances, I would like to play something else for you instead of Until the Last Moment today. I, I think this one is more of a rebirth. It's like a renewal. It's called First Touch.
Thank you. I, I'm just going to play this one on my own. <laughs> so, again, I, it was made to be played with drums and bass and violin solos and all that, but this is the essence of it. It's called The Rain Must Fall. Then all of a sudden the bass guitar comes in and then violin solos and all that stuff. But that's the frills. This is the main theme. This is where this song was born. 
That's how it sounded. So, does anybody have any questions for me?